Today I'm going to talk about the Rolleiflex Automat and how you can shoot 35mm film in this medium format camera. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Allie from AVCA and today I've got with me my favorite camera, my Rolleiflex Automat. This camera normally shoots 6x6 negatives on medium format film, but I'm going to show you how you can use 35mm film in this camera. Now you might ask, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to use 35mm film in a medium format camera? Well, for me, when I bought this camera years ago, I didn't know anything about medium format. I only knew and only had access to 35mm film, and I researched and I found out that I could install an adapter called a Rollykin and that allowed me to be able to shoot 35 millimeter film on it. Obviously I could have 36 shots per roll. That's another reason to shoot 35 millimeter. And it was cheaper to buy these rolls of film when I was practicing and learning and making mistakes. I wasn't wasting expensive film. So that was another reason. So that brings me to talk about the Rollykin. Now the Rollykin was made by Rolleiflex in 1933 and it was a more economical option for people during the Great Depression. It remained in production until 1976, and there were three renditions of the Rollykin. The first was made in 1933 through 39, and it was pretty rudimentary based on the film practices of the time. For example, there was a built-in film cutter in the back door to manually cut bulk-loaded film rather than the film cartridges that we know today. Next was the Rollykin 1, which adapted to the use of the standard film cartridge and had a rewind knob to rewind the film back. And then finally was the Rollykin 2, the one that I have here. This one doesn't have a separate back. It uses the one that came with the camera and all you have to do is just change the pressure plate when the Rollykin is installed. There's two different versions, one for the camera that already have the 36 exposure counter built in and the second set, like mine, that comes with the counter to install. Now let's talk about my Rolleiflex. I have the Rolleiflex Automat MX, and it was made from 1951 to 54. And I'm able to identify the model because of the, of the MX lever down here. M being for the M-class type bulbs and X being for electronic flash if you wanted to plug that in here. It has a 75mm 3.5 Xenar lens. So now I'd like to show you what kind of pictures it takes. So I recently went around downtown Stewart. That's a, a city here in Florida. And I found this awesome tree this huge tree. I don't know how old it was, but it was the perfect opportunity to stop and take some pictures with my Rolleiflex. I decided to shoot some Rolly Retro 400S film, which I've never used before. Uh, I didn't know much about it. I researched it a little bit before I used it, and what I found told me that it was just a regular black and white film, uh, which ended up being wrong <laughs> because my film came back pretty dark, so um, I'm guessing it's red sensitive or infrared, I'm not sure. The pictures came darker than I would have liked. But for now, let's roll the footage, see what you think of the pictures. using the Rolly Lux meter, which is usually pretty accurate.
I love the location. I love that tree. So I'm definitely going to go back. And uh, this ended up just being a scouting mission because I wasn't too happy with the pictures. I hope you guys liked them, but um, I think I'll go back with a wider lens next time and different black and white film. So after that stop, I wanted to try some street photography in the area. I had never done street photography with my Rolleiflex. And in that area, downtown Stewart, it doesn't require much walking because it's just a strip of, of places there. So, um, And there's always spots to sit down. So I thought it would be perfect for me um, to do some street photography. But the problem is I live in Florida and people don't necessarily like to go outside and walk around. So there weren't very many people to get pictures of. So you guys can decide if it's considered street photography or not. I'm going to roll the footage of that and... Hope you guys enjoy and enjoy the pictures. So now I'm gonna put some color film in. what it's like to do street photography in Florida. There's no one in sight and a bunch of expensive boutiques. <laughs> Thank you. 
hope you all enjoyed my outing along with me, and I hope this encourages you to try 35mm film with your Rolleiflex. I'm only allowed 15 minutes on a video, so I have much more to talk about in future videos. I'll be using filters in the future and shooting still life photos. I'll also show how to install the Rollykin and much more, so please hit the subscribe button below and be notified when I post those videos. For now, stay motivated and keep shooting. Take one of footage of information. Uh, what is this? Is this in there? Oh, Jesus. The whole time. With it on, how do I look? Am I pale? <laughs> how does this look? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> The blah. Now try tipping it at me. That's with it facing the ceiling. And then we're gonna try it. Ah! The surface of the sun! <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Let me do the second one. Blah, 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 blah. Testing. <laughs>